My name is Andrew Kolish. I am a naturopath and a physicist, PhD physicist. I have been medical researcher for the last 28 years. My expertise really is in elements of natural medicine, specifically in elements of natural medicine as they are introduced to Western medicine to help patients get well in either non-invasive way or minimally invasive way. And I, because of my scientific background, I have a little bit different uh, understanding and approach to a number of health problems, and it's one that we are going to see today, cholesterol, hormones, hot flashes, and more. This is a two-hour digest actually, of a lecture that I delivered a number of times in the United States and in Europe on cholesterol and how different understanding, daily understanding of cholesterol is from the real cholesterol function that is in our audience, our real, real uh, physiology. So let's start. Let's start cholesterol. I would like to call your attention to this statement here. <clears throat> the great tragedy of science is the slaying of a beautiful hypothesis by an ugly fact. A biologist mentioned it. We have a lot of, we, we have a lot of hypothetic ideas about modern medicine. And we have a very basic set of ugly facts that kill every hypothesis one after. One of the things that we see here is regularly is that we have tons of side effects from synthetic medications. And when you look into PDR, uh, the, the, the physician's desk reference, then we are, going, we are seeing a situation where about one third to half to 50% of those medications have unknown mechanism of, of, of how they work. You don't know that. At the end, they are considered to be medications. As nutrition supplements, elements of nutrition, nutrients are considered to be non-proven, even though humanity was using it from the day one, and actually it flourished until we got too smart and started introducing single, synthetic single isomers. So it's a very, very important thing to keep in mind every time you will be talking about that. Very basic on the idea that destroyed the great great hypothesis. In this particular case, in this particular case, uh, that would be a cholesterol. Well, let's find out what we have. We have Dr. Ansel Keys. He was a director of laboratory of physiological hygiene at University of Minnesota 1953. And he found a very interesting situation that people that have health problems have elevated cholesterol. So he assumed that, that elevated cholesterol is causing those health problems. So therefore, he came to the conclusion that if we are going to lower the cholesterol, the health problems are going to go away. Well, how wrong he, how wrong he was. Nevertheless, he started $20 billion a year industry. Libido and statins, medications that lower cholesterol, is 20 plus billion dollars a year in the United States alone. And there is another one that is very substantial, is a food industry that produces all those fat-free, uh, cholesterol-free egg beaters and all those other things, and they are taking another thing. So what's the net result? Net result, net result is that we are low cholesterol, low fat society that is the fattest practically the world. Please, if there is one thing that I would like to ask my patients or my audience is to get, do yourself a favor. Cook your own food at least four or five times a week. Have your own prepared food. Both genders, physical fitness, and do not underestimate the need for physical exercise and Nutrition, you always select natural food supplements, exercise daily, maintain positive attitude, relax, be in a fulfilling relationship. Have a safe home. Have a safe home. If you can come home, excuse me, if you can come home, maybe different. If you wake up in the morning 
and you see friendly face, friendly smiling face on the pillow. This is the test. You will need very little of hormonal intrusion by, by nutrition supplements or anything else. Everything will be going just fine. Friendly face, smiley face, good morning, honey. Perfect. Works every time. I know it from, from my experience. Thank you very much. That's it. Do you have any questions? Experiment. Just experiment. Do things that you normally didn't do. Okay? And if you want to do it, there is a website, uh, rejuvenationworks.com. Rejuvenationworks.com. It's one of my websites. This is the website that serves our patients that enroll in rejuvenation programs. And there is a list of foods that we use. And they, so print it out. Is that like a list of food? It's, 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 it's a good, good food. And we were doing it in, uh, in Carville, uh, in Inn of the Hills Hotel. And uh, there was a chef that actually worked with us. And we were producing, as a matter of fact, the hotel is using right now still some of our recipes. And they, have, they, they serve this food. So this is very important. But try, try this. I don't know what your opinion is about raw things, but try to find source of raw milk. There is a Romanian association here in, in Austin, so you will be able to get it. Uh, you may have to pay $10 sign up fee and you know, so do special application because this is the illegal thing in Texas, so it has to be, you have to be a member of the society and you know, own part of the cow and stuff of that sort. But the point is that trying to have a glass of raw milk a day, you'll find out that it's going to upregulate and whatever needs to be upregulated well and whatever needs to be downregulated well, you will have sugars as lactose, but you will have tons of proteins along with it. Okay? Now if you want to get fancier, that you can put, you can buy, or you can sour this milk. Okay? You remember Clubber, your grandmother did something clever like this? You know? Modern society. Okay. What you can do is in the health food store you can buy cultures that you can make it into kefir or yogurt. Overdo it. That means put whatever you need to put into the milk, but keep it on the counter in the room temperature for two, three days longer. It will start separating. The, the white part of it will start separating from the whey. 